idea. Howdy, howdy. How's everybody? How was everybody's Christmas? I'm going to get out of the sun. How was everybody's Christmas? Question of the day. Just came to me. Question of the day. Who is sad that it's over? And who is glad to be on the other side of it? And I mean that with love. Who's feeling what? Let's go over here. Who's happy it's over? And who's not so happy it's over? I'm going to pull in here. And I'll fill y'all in on what I'm doing. So, I've been in my house for two days straight. I have not left my house. Hold on. I haven't left my house since Christmas Eve, so two and a half days. What are we on? So that was Sunday night. Today's Wednesday. I haven't left my house in two and a half days. I've been holed up and I had to get out of there. I had to get out of there. So Shane had to work last night. So he's at home asleep. Riley's at work. Wyatt's at work. Alex and Chelsea are at work. Everybody's at work. And I don't go back to work till tomorrow. I've had a really long Christmas break. And it has been beautiful. And so I decided I wanted to get out. And um, I want to go to Goodwill. And I want to go to um, Dollar Tree. And factory connection and there's a Ross and there's a Cato and I think I'm gonna go into Ross and factory connection I don't have to have a Cato because I have one of those by my house by my house I'm in Catoosa for those of you guys who are familiar with Oklahoma you know where Catoosa is um, it's probably 20 minutes from my house all highway um, and so I want to hit those stores. I don't have a factory connection where I live in Broken Arrow. So I like to come out to Catoosa because it's not far. And um, hit all the, I just went to Walmart and everything I need is right here. That's why I like Catoosa. Um, but in the meantime, let's see, it's noon and I haven't eaten anything today. I ate pretty late last night though. I ate pretty late last night. I think it was like midnight. I had only eaten once in 24 hours. And I think like at midnight. Um, Roscoe needed to go outside and I was starving. So I got up and fixed a half of a pimento cheese sandwich and ate a handful of nuts. But um, I'm hungry. It's been, it's been 12 hours. And I don't, I'm not trying to fast. I've just, since I've changed my diet, my eating habits are different and I'm in a rhythm now. I'm in a rhythm and I just, I'm in a habit of making better choices. And Christmas was my free day and I ate all the junk and whatnot. This also is not super healthy, but we're out running the streets. So I went to Panda Express and I got grilled teriyaki chicken and, and super greens, which super greens looks like it might be some kind of super greens, broccoli, cabbage, there's chicken, look at that. So there's no carbs in here. Mm-hmm. That's got a lot of flavor. They gave me a teriyaki sauce, but I don't think I need it. Anyway, I'm gonna sit here and eat this. Oh, let me answer my question first. Christmas, 
turned out to be, I mean, Christmas is always fun at our house, but I was a little stressed out leading up to Christmas, um, but we did it and it ended up being a total blast. Having all my kids under one roof, the only person we were missing as far as kids and their, their significant others was Justice. Um, but I loved having all the kids under one roof. Um, we had a ball. It went over better and funner than I had dreamed of it to, to be. Now with all that being said, I'm glad to be on the other side of it. I am ready to take my Christmas tree down. I'm ready for time change. We can just skip New Year's. I can't ever stay up till midnight anyway. Shane's probably working. No? Yeah? Shane's working. So, I'll probably be in bed by 10 o'clock. Anyway. Every year, as soon as Christmas is over, I'm ready for time change in the summer. I'm done with the winter. I don't need any snow. I don't need any ice. I, I don't need that. I don't need that. I'm ready to start mowing the yard and running in 90 degree weather. But, We've got three more months before January, February, March. Three months before time change. And four, it's not going to get warm until April or May. I remember last March. You guys may remember Shane and I went to Eureka Springs last March. And it was freezing. It was freezing. We had a ball, but it was cold. Anyway. Um, I know Martha. Martha Seco. Everything Martha Crafts and more. If you guys aren't subscribed to her channel, go subscribe. But she's down in Florida where it's warm all the time. And I put a post on Facebook up. I was like, okay, Christmas is over. I'm ready for summer. And Martha's like, not me. I'm down in Florida. Oh my God, no, sister. I know you are. Now, if I was down in Florida, sunshine and beach all the time, I'd be craving the, the cooler temperatures and probably some snow. You always want what you don't have, right? This is good. If you guys need a low carb and you're out running the streets, go to Panda Express. The super greens so far, all I'm seeing is, it looks like cabbage, maybe some collard greens, and broccoli, but I love all that. So yeah, I'm glad to be on the other side of Christmas. I'm shopping. Shane wanted to go shopping with me today, but he's like, it's just going to depend on how tired I am. So... He came home. I'm on the couch drinking my coffee, getting ready for the day, you know, waking up. He lays on the couch, lays his head on my lap, and game over. Over. He went right to sleep. I drank my coffee and hung out there for about an hour. And then, um, um, when I got in the shower and got around and I'm like, I've been in this house for two and a half days. I got to go. I gotta go. So anyway, I'm gonna go finish this. Y'all don't have to sit here and watch me eat. I'll be back. Okay. I got I ate I ate about half of that. Um I got a fortune cookie. Let's see what it says. Let's see what it says. Let's taste it. Sweet. Mm. 
Surround yourself with kindness and beauty. Okay. Will do, Panda. Will do. Okay. Yum. Let's go shopping. I'm home. Okay, so, um... I'm making some spaghetti for Christmas. Um, Jonathan put together a big food basket um, for Shane and I for Christmas. It was so sweet. And I'm going to make spaghetti with everything he gave us. So um, I've got some sausage going. I like to make my spaghetti with sausage. It gives it more flavor than hamburger meat. And then Jonathan made up his own ragu sauce. He called it ragu, but it's homemade, so um, <clears throat> we're going to use this. Can't wait to taste it. And then also in that basket, he had um, spaghetti, Italian spaghetti, and then um, some Parmesan. He also made another mason jar full of hazelnut spread, so it's like his own Italian version of um, Nutella. Uh, he loves to cook, which we love, because we all love to cook. Um, and there was a bottle of wine, and there was some Italian bread, and some chocolates, and um, so I am going to cook this up, and this is where we're at right now. We're just going to get this done and browned. And while this is cooking, I'm going to work on my dishes. Okay, Shane came in and asked me if I uh, needed help, and I said sure. So he came in and just kind of took over. <laughs> He's uh, um, brought out some onions, got the pasta going, working on the spaghetti sauce, and uh, I did the dishes. Teamwork. Teamwork. Pushing all like a little El Dente. A little we had some sourdough bread, so I made up some well, it's supposed to be garlic toast, but I haven't put garlic on it yet, but there's butter on it. Let me dress this up and we'll get it all plated up. There we have it. There's my little plate. Shane's got his in a bowl. Let's taste it. I got me a Body Armor Light peach mango. These are good. Let's taste this. Sorry, baby. I just have the camera on me right now. The lighting's horrible in here. Boom. That's good. That's real good. That's good. Welcome to my closet. This looks like a big empty space back here, but it's because I've been purging over the last year all kinds of stuff out of my closet and getting rid of it so I freed up some space I have empties for you guys and I need to get this stuff out of here and so we're just gonna get started in no particular order um, the first thing I have is biotin super fruit blend strengthening shampoo restore and volumize um, with vegan collagen elderberry and plum oil um, for fuller healthy looking hair. You can get it at Walmart. I really, really like this. Uh, I will definitely buy it again. As a matter of fact, I've tried to buy it a few times and I couldn't find it. Um, so sometimes they have it and sometimes they don't. They usually do it at my Walmart. Love it. I've got two cans of this. Um, I just bought a third can. Well, I'm sure I've had many cans before this, but I discovered this not too long ago, but it's the 
Big Hair Don't Care Collab Dry Shampoo Extreme Volume. Um, I've had several people ask me, what do you use in your hair? I don't have any of this in my hair today. Um, I just put a few fat curls in it and um, a little bit of hairspray and let it do what it let it do what it do because it's the weekend. But um, this is what I use, and this will bring your hair to some amazing plumpness in the sky. Love this stuff. Love it. And I use it every day, but I thought I'd give my hair a break from it today um, just because it's, it's drying, right? And my hair is gray, so it's already dry. <laughs> Anywho, um, Dove Advanced Care Deodorant. This is okay. Um, my favorite brand is Old Spice Men's. Um, what flavor is it? Fiji, the Fiji scent. Um, but I thought I'd try Dove, um, and I've tried it. Uh, this is, this was my first one, and then I bought a second one. Um, not a huge fan. I have to, what I do like about it is it doesn't leave white marks, um, but you have to apply it twice. Maybe I have to put, put it on twice because I'm working out and sweating a whole lot more than I used to. So maybe it's not even the Dove. Maybe it's just me. If you're not a big sweater worker outer kind of person, you'd probably love it. So it's got its pros and cons, but I'll go back to my Old Spice. Um, here's an empty bottle of uh, naproxene sodium. That. This is the Lacura Face Care Foaming um, Gel Cleanser, Makeup Remover and Cleanser in One. Uh, this is a no, this bottle is full. I used it two or three times, and I can't remember which one of you told me, but somebody told me if there's any kind of soap or face wash or hand soap or anything that has the agent in it that makes it foam is going to dry your skin out, and this just dried my skin out so bad, so that's a no for me. Sorry about the lighting in here. I didn't want to drag all my trash out. I had all my trash on this shelf. I didn't want to drag it out, set up, do all that, so this is where we're at. Um, then we have, I love, love, love this stuff. Um, it's from the Dollar Tree, and it's the Aromatherapy Slumber Calming Lavender Chamomile Body Wash. Um, I absolutely love it. I need to go get another one. I was at Dollar Tree today, but I didn't even, I don't need any body wash right now, so I didn't get it, but um, I, I love it. I, for $1.25, and it smells amazing. I love lavender. Oh, and this has a real lavender scent. It doesn't smell like a fake lavender. Oh, and I've got the lotion on my um, end table. I put on my hands and feet at night. Oh, freaking love it. Go Dollar Tree. Uh, this is the Caress Black Orchid and Patchouli Oil uh, Relaxing Body Wash. This was good. I like it. I don't remember what it smells like. Kind of sweet. It has a sweet smell. I really like that. This is the Dove Ultra Care Intensive Repair Shampoo for Damaged Hair. Um, I have two of these, so I liked it. We like that. I have my Nighttime Soothing Makeup Remover Towelettes. I love these. Um, they're the Neutrogena Knockoff. It's the Great Value brand. Um, Equate brand. Uh, I've been using these for years and years and years and years. I use it with um, my Equate brand um, makeup, uh, eye makeup remover. And then I, wa I wipe all my makeup off and then I get my Norwex cloth and wash my face with water. But I like that to get my makeup off. Um, this is also something that I've used for 100 years. And this is the L'Oreal um, Eye Defense. I need to get some more. Um, I'm trying something else right now. Um, but this is the L'Oreal Eye Defense. You've seen me haul this and empty it and haul it and empty it and I love it. It's not, it's not, you know, it, I don't know why I like it. I like how it makes the skin around my eyes feel. It does get rid of puffiness a little bit, you know. The way to get rid of puffiness is not what you put on your skin. It's getting plenty of sleep and drinking a ton of water. I mean, really at the end of the day, your skin, your hair, your nails, it's not about the product you put on your person. 
It's not your shampoo. It's not your moisturizer. It's not, it's what you put in your body. Just, just tons and tons of hydration, tons of sleep. I need to work on my sleep. I don't sleep as much as I should, but I just don't. I don't need the sleep that I used to need, I guess. But I'll go 100 miles an hour and then I'll have to take a nap. I think I've taken a nap every day on my Christmas vacation, except for today. But if I would have stayed home and been lazy, I would have taken a nap. Uh, the next thing I have is another one that I've bought on repeat for years and years and years. This is my favorite hairspray in the whole world. It's Herbal Essence um, Volumizing Hairspray. Love it. It smells citrusy. It smells so good. This is all I put on my hair today just to get away the flyaways, you know, and kind of give it a little fluff. But um, it's Max for Hold. I love it. It's the only hairspray I buy. And again, the products that I love uh, may not necessarily work for you. So what works on my hair may not work on your hair and, you know, what have you. This is Antiseptic Mouth Rinse Spring Mint from um, the Dollar Tree. Th this is a Shane empty. I don't ever use mouthwash, like ever. I never really have. I mean, I do here and there, but I don't. We had two bottles of this, one for my side of the sink and one for his sink his sink and one for my sink and he ended up using them both I just don't I just don't I don't know why um, this is deep sleep pillow spray fall asleep faster naturally and wake up refreshed um, one of my YouTube subscribers um, bought this for me in a friend mail a couple years ago and she sent it to me and it smelled amazing um, her name's Kelly, and she's no longer subscribed to my channel. Um, I don't think. Kelly, if you're still out there, um, I miss you. I still love you. Um, I, I think I offended her. I don't think. I know. Um, I offended her, and um, it was not my attention. Um, anyway, like, I miss you, Kelly. I, I hope you're still out there. But anyway, she bought this for me in a friend mail a couple years ago. And it was so amazing. It smells like lavender. Um, and I used it all, so I bought myself one. Um, it's pricey. This little sucker's $30. But it only takes a few sprays on your pillow at night, and it'll last a long time. And it's definitely worth the money. If, if It's not something in my budget that I can have all the time. I'm not just going to spend $30 on pillow spray every time I run out. But as a special treat here and there this I, I appreciate Kelly for introducing me to this because this is oh that's the real deal lavender and lavender is tricky people either love it or hate it I used to hate the smell of lavender and then and then I got old and now I love it here is another um, dove deodorant we've already talked about that here is Equate Beauty Ceramide Moisturizing Facial Lotion. I really like this. This was really good. A really good moisturizer. Sorry about the lighting. It was a really good moisturizer. Here we go. Um, I think it was in the $8 range. Love it. And this is the um, eye makeup remover that I was telling you guys about that I used to take my eye makeup off with my face wipes. Love it. It's every bit as good as Mary Kay. Every bit as good as Mary Kay. I wish Mary Kay was in my budget because there's so many things by Mary Kay that I love. I love their eye makeup remover. Um, I love their mascara. I love... I can't think of all of it right now, but there's so much by... I love Mary Kay and I love Clinique. But I just don't spend that kind of money on skincare. I believe in skincare, of course. I like skincare way more than I like makeup. I think makeup is a chore. Um, I watch I watch people on YouTube put their makeup on and they have so much fun with it and they're so good at it and like I suck at makeup. I don't enjoy it. I enjoy doing my hair. I think that's fun, but doing my makeup is like, oh, bleh. it's a chore. It's not my jam. Um, here is Locura Face Care Makeup Removing Cleansing Towelettes. These are from Aldi. Did I tell you that this, um, that, where'd it go? 
this. This was from Aldi. So this is the same Aldi brand. Um, and I just, I'm not, I use these, of course. They were okay. They were good enough to use. But I'll never buy them again. I'll definitely never buy this again. Um, I bought um, the daytime and nighttime face moisturizer by Lacura. Didn't like that either. I don't like Lacura brand things for me. I think it's more beneficial for younger skin because I heard about it from Jamie, who I used to work with at Total Medical. And she loved it, so I went and bought it. And at first I liked it, but then I kept using the whole skincare, you know, makeup off, uh, face wash, moisturize. And I, it, it wasn't fitting for my 50-year-old skin. It just wasn't. Jamie's 29, and she loved it. So, you know, she still has that young skin. I got that antiquated skin. Um, let's see. Let's stay on this line. I got, um, these are vital protein collagen peptides. Um, we found them, I, I say we, Riley found them on the clearance aisle for $10. These are normally $20. Um, I, I drink them in my coffee, and it's chocolate. And she found them for half off in the clearance aisle. So I grabbed two and she, or I grabbed one and she grabbed two. Um, so there's that. That's empty. And although I love Vital Proteins, it does not hold a candle to my Orgain collagen peptides. You guys, I put this in my coffee every single day. Um, they do have Orgain products at Walmart, but they don't have the chocolate. So I have to order this on Amazon. This is $30. But I'm the only one that gets into it. And it lasts me a long time. And I have it every day. And it keeps my hair and my nails healthy. Hair, skin, nail, and joint support. And I'm going to tell you what. When I um, ran out of this, and then we found this at Walmart... Um, and I used this before I ordered up another one. I just got my other one. It's downstairs. Um, I used this, ran out, found this at Walmart, used this, finished it off, and just ordered another one of these. But I can tell you, when I ran out of this and started using this, my hair quit growing as fast. My nails started breaking. Um, this is um, collagen peptides, but it's protein. Um, it is collagen, but for some reason, this collagen is better. They both have 20 grams of grass-fed collagen peptides, but the Orgain, the Orgain is better, and um, I'm growing my hair out. I don't know how long I'm going to let it get, but I'm growing my hair out, and um, I've started drinking that again just like a week ago, and I can already tell a difference in my nails that fast. They're not as brittle. They're growing faster. I burned the crap out of my hand on Christmas. Look, I was taking food out of the, uh, I was taking the quiches out of the oven and I was so busy. I didn't even notice until later. And I looked down and I was like, oh my God, burned the crap out of my hand. Anywho, there's that. Um, then I have a uh, Clary Sage, um, essential oils. I think you can get these at Walmart. Not a, this smells really good, but it's it's not real deal like DoTerra or Young Living. But I would buy it again. I definitely, I definitely love the smell. And every time I diffuse this in the house, um, especially Alex. Alex loves my oldest. He loves essential oils. Um, he loves patchouli and he loves all that stuff. Um, you guys saw him in our Christmas video. He's my big. Big, my, I call him my Nordic Viking. He's my big, giant, teddy bear sweetheart, lovable Alex. He's my 29-year-old. He was the one um, in our Christmas video that um, was open up his car parts. Um, but anyway, he came over a while back, and I had that, that diffusing all over the house. And he's like, oh, my God, Mom, what is that? So um, that Clary Sage smells really, really good. I do, I do prefer doTERRA or Young Living, but in a, in a jiffy, and that does not upset my lungs or anything. Okay, then I got, I discovered these not too long ago, and I've bought them on repeat over the last couple, two, three, four months. I discovered them. Um, it's Robert, I think it's only been a couple months. It's like October. Robert Irvine's Fit Crunch High Protein Bake Bars. These are so good. Um, I did try them for the first time on YouTube, and they... Oh my, they taste like a Reese's and a Twix mixed together. It's got the chocolate and the peanut butter like a Reese's, and then it's got the cookie that's like a Twix. Oh my God, these are so good. 
They're so good. They're 190 calories, 8 grams of fat, 14 carbs, and um, 16 grams of protein. Oh, they're a sweet treat. They're good. They're delish. And, well, made in America. And Robert Irvine, the creator of these, um, supports our veterans and heroes through the Robert Irvine Foundation. Um, an organization with the mission of giving back and serving the men and women defending our country, our veterans, first responders, and the families who stand beside them. Love it. These are so good. And there's different flavors. But that's my favorite. All right. And then I got um, the Tyler Candle Company Mixer Melts in Cowboy. These are wax melts. It smells like leather. It smells like if you guys have a Drysdale's or a boot barn or a leather shop. Oh my God. We all love the Tyler brand, especially their, um, uh, what's their laundry detergent I love. And I don't hardly ever buy it because it's so expensive. What's it called? I don't know, but all the Tyler stuff smells so good. This is from Walmart, Sensational Cinnamon Pecan Wax Melts. These were yummy, yummy, yummy. I could burn these all year round. Uh, this is the brownie and pecan pie, also from Walmart, Better Homes and Gardens. Yum, yum. Uh, this is a candle by Glade, and I don't know what kind it is. It kind of has a fireplace, smoky, woodsy smell, but it's by Glade. Get it at Walmart. It's probably like an amber or something. This is amazing, um, perfect harvest. I'm not sure where it came from. I don't remember. Oh, Dollar General. You can tell by the little yellow. Five dollar sign. Um, this is called Sweetie Pie. It's pumpkin. And um, probably one of the best smelling candles I've ever bought. I mean, it smells so good. I'll have that. There's that. Um... I want to show you guys real quick, too. Hang on. Let me show you real quick, too. Um, my Coco Chanel, Mademoiselle. This is my signature scent. It's my favorite perfume in the whole entire world. Um, I bought this bottle for myself. Um, Shane used to get me a bottle every Christmas, but then I started kind of keeping it on hand for myself. And I hadn't had a bottle in over a year. Because it's like a $140 bottle. Um, and so I usually, if Shane doesn't get it for me, um, or if I've already, or I'll, I'll get it for myself, or Shane will get it for me. But if I've already bought it, he won't get it for me. Um, but, oh, God. It smells like heaven. I'm not going to waste a spray right now, but, oh, that's my signature scent. Um, and then I found these two smell goods at Target. Um... <clears throat> I don't ever go to Target, but I went there a few weeks ago for something. I don't remember what for. Um, but anyway, my every once in a while trip to the Target, um, I found this. And it's by Finery. And it's called Sweet on the Outside. Oh my God, you guys, it smells so good. Um, I wore this today. This is probably in the... It's $20 or less. Um... Um, I wore this today and so my scarf that I had, I sprayed it all over me and then I sprayed it on my scarf. Um, so I've had it on all day long and then Riley just got home about 45 minutes ago and she saw my scarf downstairs <laughs> and I guess she'd never seen me wear it and she looked at her dad. She put it on and she goes, dad, are you trying to sell this? Are you trying to, are you trying to sell this on eBay? Cause she was going to type it from him. And he's like, no, that's Amy's scarf. And I looked at her. I said, that's mine. Isn't that cute? She goes, oh, my God, I love it. I said, I didn't know you like scarves. She goes, oh, I just love it. She was, I said, I think I got that off Sheen. And I've washed it. Um, it's the one I had on earlier today. The black and white. This one. The black and white houndstooth. Um, anyway. I got that off Sheen, but I've washed it several times, and so it's it was soft when I bought it, um, but it was, I can't remember Sheen or Amazon, but I feel like it was Sheen. 
Um, but anyway, I've washed it so many times, it's just super, super soft. But this is all sprayed all over this, because I sprayed it all over me, all over this. I put my perfume in my hair. I spray it all over, under, on, on everything. Um, she goes, oh my God, that smells, it smells so good. It smells like Amy, it smells so good. <laughs> Well, this is what was on it. And this is, um, it's sweet. It has a sweet. Because um, I love my Mademoiselle, and I would love to be able to afford to wear that every day. <laughs> um, but I don't. And so I want to have my other perfume. And I want to I want to wear other things, too. But um, I don't normally, I do like sweet, but I don't normally go for sweet. But, God, I love this. I don't even know what, to, I wish Tyler Ramey was here to tell us what it smells like. But it's sweet. It's it's not a floral. It doesn't have the notes on it. But it's sweet like... I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm not, I don't know. But it smells really, really good. Sweet. Not like bakery sweet. Almost like a candy sweet. The scent doesn't go with the bottle, I can tell you that. But um, the Finery brand has all different flavors. They have musky ones and sweet ones and floral ones, and all the bottles look exactly the same. They just have a different color lid. Um, and they're over there by the makeup and body sprays and all that. But um, it was a toss-up between this one and another one that was kind of a citrus. But I was like, get a sweet one. Then I found this, and this is by Frenchy. Frenchy, being Frenchy. And this is a perfume oil. And, uh, of course, you know, it's lavender. So this is called um, Und Unwind and Rest Lavender Cloud. So this is more, I like to wear this, put on a little bit before I go to bed or put it on before I go do yoga or, you know. Mm. Anyway, it's a roll-on. Just roll it on. And it smells so good. It's also a real genuine lavender smell. Oh, God. You know, lavender is supposed to relax you. And maybe that's why I like lavender so much, because it is relaxing. And I am at the point in my life where I do anything and everything to avoid drama, to chill, to relax. Look, I, I have started... I, it all triggered when my mom died. So when mom passed away, I decided that I was done with any kind of chaos. It, mom dying changed me. And in that, and it, and, and it wasn't an instant. It's evolved over the last 13 months. You know, we lost mom November 2nd. Um, so it's been a year and a month, a year and almost two months. But um, something triggered in me when I lost her. And, um, it caused me to change my mindset. I have absolutely zero time for negativity. I have zero time for drama. I have zero time for, um, adrenaline. I don't want any adrenaline. I'm, I'm not, I don't want any of that. I don't want anything that's going to make me nervous or crazy. I don't, I used to be able to handle all that, you know, um, but, um, there was a switch and since she has died, my mindset changed and, um, I, uh, I started yoga. Didn't know that was coming. Didn't know that was coming. Um, I'm in the middle of my yoga teacher training. I'm about 30% done. Um, I, I started saying no, a lot more to things. I changed jobs. Um, God literally gave me a job um, that fed the peace that I was looking for, the healing, the peace, the calmness. Um, mom's passing has really caused me to, and also turning 50, has caused me to shift, to want to be more at peace, to be more calm, and to stay away from anything that um, is just going to cause any kind of anxiety or stress. Um, if there's if there's plans to be made or if, if Shane throws some plans at me, I used to pretty much do whatever. I, I'd go do, yeah, we can go, we can go, we can go, even if I didn't want to. And now I say no. Like, no. Nope. 
Um, for instance, um, the OU Bowl game is tomorrow night um, at 8.30. And our friends Kelly and Michelle invited us over. Well, I have to work Friday. And although I only have to work from 8 to noon, you know, anybody can push through that even if they're tired. Um, their house is like a 45-minute drive. Two years ago, I would have said, yeah, it's Thursday. I only have to work four hours tomorrow. It's okay if we don't get home till midnight. Yeah, let's go. Let's have fun. Um, this time I told Shane, I said, no, I, I, that doesn't fit. I mean, I love Kelly and Michelle, but it doesn't fit with where I am in my life right now. And I don't want to drive 45 minutes um, to watch a game that starts at 830. It's probably not going to be over till 1230, which means I'm not going to get home till 130 or 2. Um, which means I won't settle in and go to sleep till three, which means I'm going to have to get up, you know, in three or four hours and I'm not doing it. So I told him, I said, no, I like to get up at 515 every morning and drink my coffee and have my little devotional, give myself an hour to wake up, then get in the shower. You know, I, I'm not a jump out of bed, jump in the shower, throw my lunch together kind of girl anymore. I make sure all of my things are done the night before. Anything that's going to get rid of any kind of stress um, in my life, I'm going to go for that. And if it's going to take away from my sleep, I'm not doing that either. There has just been a major shift. I still want to go and do fun things, you know, but um, I'm just, I've changed over the last year and um uh it's it's been awesome it's been awesome so just slowing down and you know having setting better boundaries and not feeling bad about saying no thank you for the invite but i'm not going to make it this time and uh you know just go taking it easy on myself taking it easy your life is too short to be wrapped up in all kind of chaos and drama and adrenaline. I, I, I do not like adrenaline. Don't like it. My sister loves it. She loves fast cars. She, her last vlog she put up, she was out doing a dune buggy in the dirt with a friend of hers and they were going fast and she'd jump out of an airplane. She would, you know, she'd freaking go skydiving. She would, she would go, what are the, she would zip line over the, the highest canyon you can find. Um, she'll, she'd love to, you know, be in the Indy 500 or whatever it's called. If it's fast and crazy, Kimberly is about it. I don't want any of that. I don't want any excitement like that. I don't want any adrenaline. I don't. I find my enjoyment and fun in other areas. <laughs> I'll go run 10 miles and wait for that runner's high. I'm not jumping out of a plane. I'm not going fast in a car. I'm not doing it. Anyway, I'm, I'm talking a lot. I'm, I've been running my mouth for 30 minutes, and I've already had you guys on here running the day with me. So, um, sorry. It was such a long video, but that's okay. I love you guys. The Lord loves you more. And we'll see you in the next video.